you guys are moving to the CW, which it seems like opens a lot of doors yeah. for some exciting stuff. I agree. How, how does the cast feel about that? And, and like, do you guys it. see a lot of possibilities there? I love it. I mean, I, I love it. Uh, and I, I think I can speak for everybody when I say that we all love it. I, we see a lot of possibilities of this catering to a younger demographic. What, you know, that's, and that's kind of who we are anyway, right? We're, yeah. we, we fit the demographic of the people who are watching it, right? I think CBS, there was a disconnect between our show and the, demo, and the demos that they have. Yeah. And not to say that CBS didn't do a good job, like they gave us an incredible launching pad, and we're very grateful to them, but it's just a better fit. It's like, kind of like playing for the Patriots and getting traded to the Giants. Yeah. Like either team's going to do well, but they run different offenses, right? So, Do you watch all the CW shows? Like I watch, I watch Flash. I've, I've, I've not been able to see as much Arrow as I like, but I love Arrow. Yeah. Uh, Legends of Tomorrow, I'm, I'm, I'm getting into now, which is great. It's so, yeah. fun stuff, yeah. It's great stuff, man, yeah. Berlanti knows what he's doing. You guys are uh, making the move to CW. Can you talk about... Uh, go to CW? It obviously opens up a lot of doors for some cool stuff. Have, yeah, how, yeah. How I mean, you guys feel, felt about that, just knowing those possibilities? Those, those, that, I mean, that part of it is, is really exciting to us. I mean, uh, you know, I, I love doing the crossover with Grant. I don't know how they're going to do it since we're in a different universe, but <laughs> I'm sure they'll figure something out. Maybe the Flashpoint thing is messes everything up. But, um, but no, we're, we're super pumped about it. Um, you know, I think it's going to allow the show to be a little bit more uh, comic book driven. Uh, you know, uh, really cater a little bit more to like, you know, that audience. Because, yeah. you know, on CBS, we're trying to capture a much more broad audience. You know, there's a much older demographic. Um, I think we we caught as many of those people as we could, yeah. <laughs> whether they'll come with us or not. But um, but at the same time, uh, we've sort of established a show that can be watched by the whole family, and so I don't think we want to lose that aspect of it. But I really I do think there's going to be a lot more nerdy stuff. Maybe I mean, more of a shared universe. I mean, I don't know if there'll be a shared universe at all. I can't really speak to that. But um, for us, you know, I, I think we're gonna the tone is gonna shift a little bit to more of that kind of. Um, a little more stylistically, maybe I don't know. Well, I'm sure we'll still be earnest as we always are, but um, but there's the I, I think they'll embrace the, the youthfulness of the show a little bit more. Hey, how are you? Hey, how are you? Good, 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 good. Great to see you. Great to see you. Yeah, I know. It should be an X though, right? Next, next right, year. Yes. Oh my God, it's got the same one. Same one. Nice. Nice. playing this. Is it? <laughs> So last year when we talked, uh, you, you you had to be kind of cryptic about where things I didn't, were going. I didn't know. That's well, you, you actually I, gave I, us more than a lot of people did, which was nice. Okay, you cool. You gave us a good character information. But now that we've kind of seen where your character is gone, uh, how do you feel about being able to share in those experiences and, uh, and just kind of the the weird directions that it got to take, you know? Oh, it's, it's just been awesome. I mean, uh, and I had no idea just how much people loved the character. So um, what's, what was nice in the signings is that today was that people were just coming up saying, thank you for bringing him to life. You know, it's, it's, it's almost like some people were just like geeking out when, when, when he was revealed as the Martian Manhunter. So um, for me, I can, I can feel that. So it's, 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 it's nice that I get to play such a, a loved character. And I'm just looking forward to fleshing him out and, and putting him in different situations. You mentioned uh, doing like a big, the big crossover episode. One of the coolest episodes I thought was the Flash episode. How challenging is that? Maybe that the fans don't realize when you have to do those types of crossovers. Well, what's hard is like what people want and what we want to give them is the leads of all the shows and scenes together. But you know, I can't. Grant, Stephen, Melissa—they work so hard and they work almost every day. So any day that Grant was on Flash was a day that he, or sorry, any day that Grant was on Supergirl was a day that he couldn't be on Flash. And so that's one of those repercussions that I don't think people think about. And luckily we have such a deep bench of talent on all the shows that we can kind of create stuff for other people to do. But um, I think that that's one of the hardest things. And then this year it'll be easier because Supergirl's going to be filming up in Vancouver, so everyone will be a little bit closer. Because that was also like getting Grant down to LA meant you miss extra days. But just the logistics of it, like if you think about how hard it is for like you and three of your friends to decide where to eat dinner, what time, <laughs> agree to that and show up on time, then imagine that with a ton of actors and set pieces and you can begin to see the, the trauma of scheduling these things. Right. So last year when we talked, I think it's safe to say you seemed like the most excited of all the cast members like to be a part of this. Now that you've got a, a, a whole season under your belt and going into season two, 
Like, how gratifying has it been so far for you, and, and what are you looking forward to most in this new season? This has been the best experience of my career by far. Yeah. I, I, it's pushed me so much further than I thought I was capable of. And, and in, in so many different ways, I mean, you know, I, coming off of Grey's Anatomy, it's like, you know, it's the doctor show, and it's like, and then coming onto this, it's like, you, you guys want me? <laughs> like, like me? And then but being able to step into it and really, you know, I, full force, like I love it. I love being part of the action stuff. I love doing the stunts and, and uh, it, there is, there's something like this mentality switch almost like getting in, even just in, in the DEO suit, it's like all of a sudden this thing changes and I love it. It's been so much fun and I love, you know, the majority of, of the work that I've done was with David and, and with Melissa and I love those two to death and so we have such a great bond already, you know, and, and to be, for Alex to be a part of the journeys of these iconic characters, it's like, it's just kind of cool because I get to kind of weave in and weave out and there's no boundaries for me. It's like I get to kind of just play. Well, it's just so cool to see a superhero series that has so many strong female characters. Like, yeah. like we haven't had that in such a long time. Yeah. So. It gives us an incredible opportunity to tell a much bigger story yeah. and an incredibly relevant story. And, you know, I, I have little girls. I have two little girls. And for them to see women that can be strong and can be powerful. And I love that you see both sides of Kara really discovering who she is and embracing those kind of powers and the, and just doing such good with them. And then you see Alex, who doesn't have powers, but is just as determined and just as passionate and just as powerful. You know, it's such a great lesson that I get to teach my girls because they're just like, you don't have to have superpowers to be powerful. But at the same time, you need to figure out who you are and walk in that and be proud of that, you know, flawed or not.